square pyramid of base 40 mm side and axis 60 mm line length uh, has its base on HP and all the edges of the base are equal, equally inclined to EP means we need to construct with the corner position here. So it is cut by an inclined section plane so that the sur truncated surface at 45 degree to the axis by ex bisecting it draw the development of the truncated pyramid. So bisecting it means exactly middle of the axis it is cutting that is 45 degree section plane on the axis. So first we draw an x y line here okay so we will be constructing a square with respect to corner position here so for that i'll be taking a, a protractor first i will take a reference point okay so from that reference point i'll be marking at 45 degree 45 degree on both sides we'll be marking 45 degree on both sides Okay. Then I will be drawing a line of length uh, 40 mm here passing through that uh, angle point on the both side. Then after that I will be drawing a, uh, drawing a line of length 40 mm so passing through that uh, 45 degree angle point. Then I will take a compass, measure 40 mm, any one of the length we can measure it and we can cut the arc. So two arcs we can easily cut here. Okay. <coughs> so then join using scale here. And you can show the dimension on one side okay the dimension here it is 40 mm okay this can mention the naming abcd it is having only one base heads base abcd so connected with the vertex by means of slant edges here so we'll be drawing slant edges so these inside lines has to be thick lines okay thick lines o o 1 ok now you project it upward to complete the front view so here the axis length we should consider that is 65 mm ok 65 mm long ok so exactly from that corner point we need to join here exactly to that axis end point we need to join ok so it is of uh, length axis length 65 we can show that ok now we have to show the inclined section plane that is exactly cutting bisecting it means exactly cutting at the middle point here so you can see that so it, so it is making as a truncated surface bisecting it means exactly middle it is cutting the axis so 65 means 32.5 we have to mark 32.5 we can mark and we can show the dimension here Thirty-two point five, okay. And we can show the angle. So the angle here we consider forty-five degree. So draw a line passing through that point. Okay, here we are drawing that uh, section plane. So cutting. 
so you can mention the angle angle it is 45 degree okay so you need to dark the retained cut portion of the pyramid so it is forming like a truncated surface truncated means cutted portion so here we have left out with the cutted portion the truncated surface we need to dark okay which is cut by that section plane okay now we have to mark the uh, numbers here by cutting the section plane so one it is when we project downward it is cutting on the slant edge OA so that is our point number one okay so it is a slanted surface that's why we need to do like this only and then for the point number two we're getting here okay on the on the slant edge B and then <coughs> we have next point three and point four so point three we can get it easily just by projecting downward we get it on the slant edge OC okay that is our uh, point C okay but for uh, point 2, 2 and 4 we are not getting on the exact uh, slant edges so for that we will be drawing a line from this 2 and 4 to the this slant edge okay slant edge we are drawing it and then projecting downward from that point vertically downward we need to project it downward okay so this is the distance we got so after getting this distance we have to take compass measure the distance and draw an arc or a circle you can say that okay draw an arc on the slant edges of OD and OB so I will be drawing like an half circle so that particular arc is cutting OD and OB slant edges. so here we get the point number 2 and point number 4 this is where it is cutting now in from the top view so we can show how it has been cutted with that section plane so now we are getting the trun truncated portion you can see that clearly from the top view so we need to join this 1 2 3 4 with the straight line using scale ok so that's what the top and front view now we need to draw the development of this truncated pyramid ok first we need to identify the true length so here the true length it is you can see from the top view OC it is parallel to XY that's why O dash C dash is our true length of line ok we need to measure how much it is length <coughs> we'll show with the dimension here so if you just measure the length it is around 70 mm so you can measure that and write down there Okay, now for this 70 mm true length we need to construct so take a reference point anywhere you can take so first so this is nothing but our true length so we need to draw for the true length okay so that's why we consider O as C dash here not the axis length so we will be drawing for 70 mm now that's what the true length one line I will draw okay then I will take the compass so measuring for 70 mm measuring for 70 mm so that particular one, and then I will be drawing an arc here or a semicircle you can say that ok so here uh, after drawing an this uh, semicircle so we need to cut it so we need to cut it for exactly 40 mm because the base edge it is 40 and we need to cut it is a square pyramid so we need to cut a 40 length for 4 arcs here 1 2 3 and 4 so totally 4 arcs we have to cut it here ok so now we can join using scale we can join it so these are nothing but your slant edges and the true lengths ok OB, OA, OC and OD these are nothing but your slant edges there are totally four slant edges we are getting here ok so you can join this with the straight line here also 
because it is in square pyramid or oh, that just for straight here okay okay after completing it so we will erase this semicircle which we have been drawn okay as a reference to construct this truncated pyramid so we will erase it okay so now we can mark the naming now so this is a b c d and a okay that is o so we need to mark the length okay this is what our true length we have been drawn for the true length here okay now we have to consider that o1 that is o to 1 o dash and 1 so i will consider all this 1 2 3 4 on that uh, true length o dash c dash okay we'll consider that length but just drawing that uh, one a horizontal line from that one to till the till it touches the c dash o dash c dash now we'll measure the length using compass from o dash to one okay cut the arc then o1 on oa oa we'll get one one only so that's why i've got a two arcs then o2 that also we need to consider on the true length only okay not on the axis just see that already we have drawn a straight line from the point number two of two and four on the true length so that length i am considering not on the axis so this is very important and then again you can consider it from o to three that is already there on that true length now we can write one two three four and again one okay so you can join using straight line with the scale and join this okay so now you can dark that uh, truncated remaining uh, portion so we have to dark this so dark the truncated pyramid so the left out portion okay we need to dark this So slant edges also we need to dark in the truncated portion. Okay, so that completes the problem.